Hey everyone, thanks for being here. Now today what we're gonna look at is using USB hubs and the camera lightning adapter kit for iOS devices. This way we're gonna have a look quickly at how we can use MIDI devices like the MPK Mini, the Uno Synth that we covered before. I'll link that above here somewhere. Plug in multiple devices to see what we can get out of them there. If you would do me a favor and just hit the like and subscribe and the notification bell at the bottom and that'll notify you of any more videos we have coming up so that we can learn more about how we can make music in our home studio as best that we can. Okay, now let's dive in. Well, what we're gonna have a look at here is we're gonna look at using this iPad with several MIDI devices. So how can we connect several different devices at the same time? Well, what we're gonna do here is see which devices are gonna help us, which ones are not. We've got a camera connector kit. Okay, this one has the uh, USB and the lightning so that you can plug in power directly to it. And then we also have a USB to lightning without the charging on it, okay? So that's just without the charging. We're gonna see what happens when we connect these devices together. What else do we have? We have an Anchor uh, four port USB hub. We also have this USB three, it's a, a Ryko. What else do we have? We got the Uno Synth from MyK Multimedia. We also have our iPad with GarageBand, and then we have a Personas Atom MIDI controller, and then we have the Akai MPK Mini MIDI controller. Oh, what else do we have here? We also have these USB to lightning cables. Okay, this one came with the iPad. That's just a three foot cable. I also have a 10 foot USB cable. And the reason I wanted to show this is because Sometimes if you're gonna be using your iPad as maybe a, a sample trigger or a loop trigger, and you're using one of these devices to uh, act as the physical trigger that you're hitting, let's say you're doing that live. Uh, what you're gonna want is probably a longer USB cable to send power to your iPad. Otherwise, you're going to have problems and it's gonna run out of power. So right now I do have it connected uh, to a USB charging adapter right now and that you can see it's 100% it's powered on So what I'm going to do now is just unplug. We'll take this USB adapter. Okay, this is the one This is just the straight USB adapter plug that in there and we're going to see what kind of connections we get So maybe let's grab this Uno synth. Okay, we'll make that connection there and we'll grab We'll power this on first one is battery power and we'll actually turn it on USB. Okay, so this is exactly what I wanted to happen. You see here it says accessory unavailable. This accessory uses too much power. If you're gonna use the Uno synth, for example, or many other um, MIDI controller synthesizers, you're gonna have to run it off battery power or you're gonna have to have a power source plugged in for it. The only way that you're gonna be able to do that for a power source for the Uno Synth is if you plug it into a powered USB hub. Now, the only other thing that we wanna check is we wanna have a look at if we're getting anything from the Uno Synth on the iPad. So what you can do is just click the gear icon, go to advanced, multi-track recording is on, we're sending MIDI clock, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, grab a track here and we'll just add a piano. Sure, let's grab a synth here. On the Uno synth. Okay, this is great. Okay, so right now we are getting sound coming in here. Okay, we'll turn that up a little bit. Excellent. So we do have uh, control of our MIDI device coming into 
the iPad right now just with off of this single USB camera connector kit. And that's great. The arpeggiator is working as well. So that's fantastic. This is sending MIDI information into our synth here. And looks like the tempo works on there too. That's great. Okay, so that worked for us. That's awesome. But here's the problem though. Now we don't have any other way to get any other devices in here. So let's say we're you're using this in a live scenario or even just using it in your home studio and you wanted to get more things connected. Okay, that's where USB hub comes in. So let's try connecting this now. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this in the middle, okay? We're gonna connect this camera connector kit and then we're gonna plug our USB devices into our hub. And let's see if we can power it off of the USB hub because sometimes the iPad won't let you plug in uh, powered devices directly off the iPad, but if you use a, a hub, a four port or a bigger USB hub, for some reason, it's okay with that. So let's just see what happens. Nope, definitely didn't work. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. So let's try this then. Let's take the other one we've got here. Okay, that's this guy. Let's try unplugging it and plugging it back in, see what happens here. Wow, look at that. Okay, so we got the Uno synth in there. Let's turn that on so we also have it with the Atom. Excellent. Let's grab a classic studio kit and see what happens here. Let's grab one that sounds a little more. Let's go full level. Ooh, excellent. Awesome, right? Okay, so now we've got the Atom and the Uno Synth all connected just to this four port USB hub. Now let's get the Akai in there and see if that works. Let's go full level. Excellent. It all seems to work. Okay, great. Now, the only problem with all this is that everything is being powered off of the iPad. Okay, so you start you might start running out of juice. So now what you want to do is just make sure that you have power to last you maybe a whole show. What if your iPad only had 30% power left and you had to use it for a show and you don't have a charger that's going to charge an iPad fast enough to get through, okay? So that's where a powered USB hub comes into play. Take your charger, okay, just like that. Plug that in so you've got a powered USB hub now, okay? And what we'll do here is we'll switch this out. Now let's see if we got everything going again here. Okay, I'm gonna shut the Uno synth off. I'm gonna power it off USB. It should work because we're using a powered USB hub now. On the Arico, the the micro USB cable is for the charging port. The longer USB 3 cable is what you would connect into the iPad. All right, so now that we got, okay, there. So you can see I've got power coming in here now. Let's see what happens. Excellent. 
there you go. I've got three devices connected, all running power. Okay. The only difference is my iPad is only powering the iPad right now. The powered USB device is powering, is being powered, sorry, by the charging cable. Okay. So that's, that's how that's working. So I don't, I'm not draining the battery on the iPad. Let's say you wanted to use the four port hub because it's maybe a little more travel friendly and you just wanted to use the camera adapter kit with the lightning cable. You can do that. Okay, so this is gonna just go in the charging there. This will come over to our charging port. Okay, so now we can see the iPad is being charged. Great. Now let's plug in our devices into our hub. One, two, three. Great. Let's go back and grab a drum kit. There you go. So you can see we've got everything connected. Now the only the only problem with this is that it doesn't differentiate one MIDI device from the other. So that means that uh, the GarageBand on the iPad specifically is only identifying an IK MPK Mini to it is the same as the Personas Atom or the same as the Uno Synth right now because they're just all MIDI devices. It doesn't know which is which. So it's just taking MIDI data from each separate one. So now we know that using these specific products, we can use the iPad and GarageBand uh, or BandLab for that matter to control any of these MIDI devices, um, maybe in a live setting, or if you just want to keep everything connected all at once in your home studio. Uh, I mean, this is a really simple setup. I mean, the four port USB hub only costs 25 bucks. Um, the camera connector kit, another 30 bucks. And um, of course, you know, 120 bucks for the MPK Mini, 200 bucks for the Uno Synth. Um, you can get all kinds of things that you can set up and have in your studio for a relatively cheap cost. And you can create all kinds of good content using GarageBand as well. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. Uh, all of the applicable links will be in the description below. So that uh, if you wanted to purchase any of these, you can just click the link below. Uh, full disclosure, I do get a little percentage back if you use the links in my description to purchase the devices. And that just helps me be able to purchase these devices myself and use them in the videos for you. If you liked what you saw here and you want to help me out, if you wouldn't mind clicking the like and subscribe and the notification bell. Thanks for being here. Keep making music. Full disclosure, I totally plugged this thing in wrong and it didn't fry it. So if that's a testament to how good this device is, you should definitely pick it up because it still works just fine. Went through the whole video with it.